Guys, Muffin here, gonna be adding some commentary to No Mercy K2's replay in the Abram in some live reaction. Just gonna see how this goes. Says he has a pretty good game for us, so we'll see. The iconic Abram rolling out on the battlefield. You know something pretty bad A is gonna happen if it's uh, an Abram involved. I haven't been doing a lot of commentary. I've been actually focusing a lot of my commentary on my main channel, The Thunder with Muffin. A link in the description below if you haven't seen it, check it out. But I do like to add commentary to these every once in a while. So we'll go ahead and just throw some in here for this one. Pretty sick paint job. Dude, just going in like a bunch of homies. Like boss style. Wow, that was epic. <laughs> what happened? Okay, here we go. Back on track. Moving through this center town area. A lot of attention. Whole team is just kind of huddled around this B. Major protection here. Enemy seems to be heavily focused on A, a little bit of C. Closing in on the right, maybe. And they're all just lined up, waiting for the enemy to make the first mistake. Ooh. <laughs> Teammate knocked out on the left. What is he seeing over here? There are a bunch of things marked on the map right in front of him. And just could come out about around any corner. Feel like enemies playing it fairly smart. He's trying to look for some targets. Wow, excellent first, first takeout. Oh, oh, yeah. Don't want to see that coming to you. Now this may be a scary area to repair. Okay, very smart in using the smoke. Definitely needed. Is it gonna be enough time to repair though? Looks like two crew members out and the entire breach and cannon are gonna need some repairing. See, it's talking about pilot survivability. <laughs> you just, sometimes you just gotta love Gaijin's warplay, war, uh, warplay, replay system. Well, getting pretty far up here on enemy lines. Man, Bert, just gotta love that sound at the higher BR, higher BR battles. Well, there's been a lot of searching and not a whole lot of, uh, a lot of fighting. Okay, Abrams got gas. Had uh, some tacos for lunch. Time to let the battlefield know. Hey, okay, some gunfire off to the left. <laughs> well, No Mercy did say this was a good game. A lot of, a lot of searching. Yep, gotta watch out for those deadly trees. I don't know, he could have seen something that maybe I didn't quite see. Ooh. He does say he gets enough points for a nuke. Wow, excellent, I didn't even quite see that. Great spotting. Oh man, that guy got, <laughs> that guy got ripped apart. It looked like something had maybe just come down that hill. Now, from what I understand, these little ATGM rocket vehicles don't have to really expose themselves much.
just kind of peek up a tiny bit. Oh, looks like we can see something. An excellent shot there. Right as he was rolling behind that wall, shooting right through and taking him out. More gunfire over to the right. Doesn't look like, oh man, excellent. Coming up right behind this foo. Oh, two of them. Can he shoot him? Oh, maybe not taking out quite what he needed. We got absolute chaos here. Ooh. There's a, okay, popping some smoke maybe. Trying to shake that barrel to help protect it. Wow. That was pretty intense. I feel like in these higher BRs, you just, you have to use smoke. With all the stabilizers and accurate shooting, laser guided whatevers, there's uh, <laughs> almost every time in exchange for a, a hit and then a kill, hit, kill. Or you get something damaged. Wow, I didn't even quite see that. That was excellent. Excellent aiming and maybe in predicting just going off of sounds. Man, Abram being a boss. I think that might be a little BMP. Ooh. Ooh. Can that 50 cal maybe reach him? I don't think that thing has much armor. Nope, his commander looks like he may be knocked out. Oh, wow. So he's got a critical hit. Dang, those missiles have got to be some of the scariest stuff to see come right towards you. Now, I'm not sure if the bush on the side of the turret is more decorative or if it's actually meant to help this guys, because it doesn't look like it's... <laughs> doesn't look like it's hiding much. Oh, poor little dragon logos. Looking kind of faded. Dang, that is one heck of an antenna. I wonder what the mileage or what kind of reception you'd get on that. Ooh, front flaps kind of bent. Getting into uh, some of the, the damage a tank takes per hit, which is pretty sweet. I swear, seeing some of this high-tech stuff, I used to play this really old game called Mech Warrior. It's basically what I feel like I'm playing, Mech Warrior on wheels. Ooh, nice little shot there. It almost looks like it could have been a Kempf Panzer. But I think with the Puma, I thought Germany might have been on their team. I'm not sure. I've got a lot to learn about these higher BR games still. Wow, there's a whole bunch of spaceships or transformer sounds coming out from behind this building. All right, well, six kills and over 1,900 points. Oh. <laughs> it's almost weird. I know this is a recording. I can't jinx anything, but I feel like for some reason I did jinx it. Maybe my future self doing this recording is what did it. Okay, here's a Kempf Panzer. Wait a minute. Did America have some sort of Abram thing? No, this is, okay, it is American Germany. It almost looks like Oscar the Grouch's trash can on the top right of the turret. I love all the stuff in the back. It looks like a an evil mechanical boy scout going out into battle. And I swear that little gun turret on the the left looks like something from Star Wars. Oh. Not a good thing you want to experience right off the bat in battle. 
Oh, that's kind of funky. Is it possible to throw your camera around like that, or is that just Gaijin's replay system again? Poor little commander. He always kind of seems to be the one to get picked on. I think that's who that might be in the back. Or maybe they just kind of switched positions already, and I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if he would have I don't know if that was the same guy I must say this is a actually a pretty sick looking paint job on this holy cow dude now we got some excellent action going on here kind of intense when you're always stuck trying to repair and you can't really do much and it's really just up to what you can see I'm guessing no mercy, holy cow. This guy is having a rough. Okay, he knows. The guy knows where he is and then he pops smoke and maybe it's helping though. Oh. Man, what a beating. Man, gotta love these, like how it pops smoke all around it. That is so sick looking. I'm guessing maybe tanks in real life real like have to, I wonder how much actually they rely on smoke. Or having to pop smoke. I mean, and the thing is in real life, it's not like they can really repair an engine in 40 something seconds. Ooh. Oh, that's his own teammate. All right. Feeling nice and fresh. <laughs> Not so much his teammate, though. Oh. All right, took out the barrel. Looked like he had actually quite a bit to shoot out there. Maybe that's a tank that's very difficult to take out. Wow. Excellent in taking out those enemies. Making it push down the street here. Now, holy cow. <laughs> People playing Pumas at this BR. I mean, can a Puma even do anything like to, like, to this thing or even some of these tanks? I don't not sure if that's brave or dumb. It's so funny how you can actually bring out older historical tanks like that. Wow, this thing can really take a beating. Ooh, ricochet, holy cow. Well, we got over, ooh, vehicle loss right at 3,400 points. Well, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this muffin here. Stay cool and keep tanking.